Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can update your client portal link. So what is client portal? Client portal is a one-stop site for your courses, communities, and affiliate for, uh, portal. So if you guys are uh, maybe hosting your courses inside Techmetics, this will be a crucial step for you to set up because this will brand your link for your courses to your checkout pages and mainly for your client portal URL. So by default, if you sign up with Techmatics, Techmatics will automatically assign you a default URL link for your client portal. So it looks like this with random numbers and letters um, that app club, uh, app, app client club .net. So in order for you to um, have a customizable or um, like, you know, branded domain for your client portal, you need to follow the steps. So if I'm going to copy this client portal URL, it will actually redirect me to the client portal link where your student mainly needs to sign up for an account or maybe log into their existing um, client portal um, account. So let me just wait for that to show up. It's actually not popping up here. So let me just switch into incognito. So it will be easier. Yeah. So this is how your client portal link looks like by default. So everything in here on the right hand side can be, can be customized. So if you want to customize your client portal um, page, you need to go to uh, your client portal settings. So it can be found on website, website and funnels. Go to your settings and go to branded. And that way you can brand it uh you can brand your own client portal uh url so yeah but since we're dealing with the domain we're going to mainly focus on that we'll have a different training for how to customize your client portal um site so yeah so again by default this is your client portal url this is where your clients will need to sign in or sign up to have access to your courses um also this client portal url is basically the link that is on your offers and in your individual products. That's why it's really important to set this one up so you can have your own branded domain for your courses and checkout pages. So for example, for this product right here, I have a sample course right here. If I'm going to preview this course, it actually has our default um, URL for our client portal, which has like the random net, uh, letters and numbers. So we don't want that. We have our, oh, we need to have our own branded domain set up in there so we can have our courses branded, um, especially with the offers, because this is basically where your clients need to sign up or buy your courses. So if I'm going to copy that link, paste it here, it is actually using our default um, URL, which is not like, you know, which is not pretty. It has like different numbers and letters in there. So we need to have this branded. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. So in order for you to brand it, what you need to do is you need to head over to your websites and funnels, go to client portal, and you need to head over to settings. So this is what I mean with the branding. This is where you're going to set up the overall look of your um, client portal with those, uh, with the branding colors, with the images, with the logos and stuff like that. But we're going to focus in this tutorial onto the domain, uh, into the domain setup. So click on domain setup. And this is where we're going to add our custom domain. So for you to brand it, you can just uh, put in the custom domain that you want to link in here. So for example, if your domain is techmedics.com and you're not using your techmedics.com to any websites or funnels and stuff like that, you can definitely have that domain set up for your courses. But in our case, I actually have our techmedics.tech uh, pointed to a website so I can no longer use it. So what I'm going to do is I'll just add a subdomain inside my client portal domain. So my subdomain would look like courses that techmedics that tech. You can definitely have the option to choose whatever subdomain that you want to have for your custom domain for your client portal. It could be learn that your domain.com, it could be portal that your domain.com, training that your domain.com, workshop that your domain.com. So it really depends on you on what type of C name that you're going to add for your client portal. In my case, I want to use this one. So I'll just click on add domain this pop-up will show up and then i can just click on continue and uh, let's just wait for that to load up 
Okay. So upon um upon like going through the step of adding your uh branded domain inside your client portal, your the system will automatically um track which uh wherever domain server you have your domain currently hosted. So if you have your domain hosted in Google Domain, GoDaddy, Cloudflare, and Ionos, Techmatics has a direct domain integration with those five plat I, I think four platform. So you don't have to manually add the records in. But if you have your domain server, uh, I mean domain hosted on those like server that's not mentioned, you can just click on find out what records to be added and you can just manually add these records in. But for those people who have their uh, domain uh, hosted to those four server, what you can just do is follow the steps that I'm going to do. So this step is particularly uh, particularly for those people who have their domain hosted in Cloudflare, Google Domain, GoDaddy, and Ionos. So you can just click on Authorize Domain. And then make sure that you currently log in with the account that has access to that um, domain. So in my case, I need to switch over into a different account. So let me just try to do that. After you have done that, uh, let's just wait for that to load. Okay, let me just go to techmedics.tech. I'll go to DNS and let me just try to um, hang on. So I just went in. So it will give you this um, message right here. So just click on yes, connect. And then automatically the system will automatically add that record into your domain server automatically without you manually adding it in. So after you have already have this check box right here, you need to close down all the domain uh, configuration or domain pages that you got, uh, which uh, which was open from the pop-up and wait for the system, to, uh, wait until the system propagates your domain. So it would take around 30 seconds. Some would take like four hours, some would take 24 hours for the domain to propagate. If you're quite unsure, if it's taking so much time, you need to contact your domain provider for that just to make sure that the, the domain went through. So yeah, so with our process, we now already have our courses, the technetics.tech link into the client portal. So if I'm going to copy that uh, client portal link, I'll just open it in a new tab in incognito so we can check it out. This branded domain, uh, usually it would take some time to propagate. Let me just try to do that again. Just give me one sec. Let me just give it like some few uh, minutes before it would like fully propagate. It has been a minute after we have um, added this record. So let's try to open it in incognito. And we now have our client portal link from the domain or branded domain that we have set up on your client portal. So this is where your student needs to log in in order for them to get access to the courses. And if we go to our individual courses right here, let me just maybe refresh the screen. And also I'll refresh the screen from my product so we can see how our uh, preview would look like with the client portal domain being added. So I just loaded my screen. So if I'm going to click on this link to get the link for my checkout pages, it now has the courses, the techmatics that te uh, detect. So this is the uh, domain that we link into the client portal. So our courses check out. And also our individual courses uh, link is now updated with the client, um, client portal domain that we have set. So if I'm going to preview this product, it is now hosted under courses that techmatics that tech so that's basically how you're going to set it uh set it up so for those who don't have or who don't um who is not hosting their um their domain into those provider that i've um i've mentioned you can still do it but you have to add the records manually let me just try to delete this domain so we can have a thorough step-by-step tutorial on how you can get this done. So just type in the domain that you want to link. So for example, uh, maybe I'll just use a different one. Maybe I'll have portal.techmedics.tech because I already used the courses one earlier. Just add domain. 
And then what you're going to do is you need to add the record manually. So this will be your host name and this would be your required value. So if you're not sure on how to set this one up, you can just email us at support at techmedics.com so we can help you out. So yeah, so you need to go to your actual domain server since our domain is hosted in, in Google domain. This is where I'm going to add it. So um, domain server will have like different UI or display on how you can add records. But what you need to do is you need to add a, um, a record in, inside your DNS server. So just click on create new record. Uh, it might be different from server uh, from one server to another, it will be great if you can reach out to your um, domain provider so they can help you add the records in. Or again, you can just definitely email me at supportatechmedics.com so we can help you out. So since we need to add portal.techmedics.tech, our host needs to be portal and our required value would be this one. So just copy your host name, go back to domain server, the type of this domain needs to be a C name since if it's a C name, if it's an A record, you need to put an A record in there. But in my case, this would be a C name. Type in portal. You can just copy what you have uh, you have added into your client portal. And then the required value will be this one. So just copy the required value. And you're going to paste it inside the data or the value um, section on your domain server. Just click on save. And after you've done that, that's already added. What you're going to do is you can just click on verify record. So the system will verify the records that you have added inside your domain server. So let's just wait for that to go through. And we now have our custom domain updated to portal the techmatics attack. So if I'm going to copy this URL and open it in an incognito tab, I'm using incognito just to make sure that I'm going to be redirected to the right pages because usually your browser would um, store cookies and might not show you the actual uh, client portal like page. So just open this up in incognito. And this is how your student will um, access your courses. And if we go to our individual courses and offers, when I click on the link, it now has the portal, the techmatics of tech, and then the slug for the offer. And if we go to the individual products, you can now see that it is under portal, the techmatics that tech. So that's basically it. That's how you can set up your um, custom domain or branded domain inside your client portal. So if you guys are um, are having problems with how to set up your uh, domains for your client portal or maybe your um, email dedicated domains and stuff like that, don't hesitate to reach out to us via uh, support at technetics.com so we can help you out. Thank you.